मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हितेश फ्रॉम पाथन अकेडमी सो टुडे विल बी बैक विद अनदर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम डेटा लेमर व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन पाथन व्हिच इज आस्क इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सो फैक्टोरियल ट्रेलिंग जीरो सो हाउ व्हेन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ एनी नंबर एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी जीरोस आर ट्रेलिंग ओके सो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी हैव कैलकुलेट द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ 5 इट विल गिव्स द फैक्टोरियल 5 इज 120 so in 120 there is a 10 field so it will return 1 okay so likewise we have to calculate uh, how many zeros are trailing okay and we are passing the value of n by calling the function so let's see what is the problem statement before you work on this question make sure you have solved the easier warm up problem of course you have to know the factorial of any number okay so by default it is uh, calculated successively with the uh, decrease by 1 till the number become 1 so normally uh, factorial of n will be calculated as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to the value of n will become 0 and the factorial of 0 is 1 okay so now that you know the factorial formula let's write a function that will return the number of trailing zero in n factorial okay so here example is given to you so factorial of 5 would return 1 why because the factorial of 5 is 120 in 120 there is only one zero trail therefore it will return 1 okay if we want to calculate the factorial of 10 so it will return 362880 so it will return 2 because there are two trailing zeros okay so we have to find out the number of trailing zeros to the factorial of any number and the factorial of any number would be passing as a parameter as n and the function name is trailing zero which were accepting the value of n okay so let's see how we will be solve so here first we uh, define the counter variable as a count initially it doesn't count any number so therefore we will assume as a zero now we will create the another variable as a power of 5 because it will use show the number how many numbers we are up to how many number we are going to calculate the factorial and now we will uh, use while loop it is a conditional loop where it will uh, compare the value of n which is greater than or equal to power of 5 okay so here it will uh, first uh, increase the counter variable count is equal to count and now uh, it will divide the n by using float division to the power of 5 now it will as it will store all the uh, number of power of 5 with the it should be multiple of 5 and now it will return how many zero it will stored in any factorial for number so it will return counter variable that is count so we will try to uh, evaluate how many number of zeros are trailing suppose i had passed value of and is 5 so let's see what it will return it will probably return 1 yeah suppose uh, we have passed the value of an is 10 so let's see how it will return what is the how many zeros are trailing so it will trailing 0 1 suppose i had passed the uh, So that will pass the value of n is 
it will return one which is expected one we will find out how many zeros are trailing in the factorial of 10 okay so likewise it will return so basically in this question we have to first calculate we have to first read the question properly okay so here we want to calculate the factorial of number but in along with that we have to uh, find out the how many zeros are trailing in that factorial of number so for that we will write here uh, some of the counter variable as a count zero power of five is five it will use which will show the how many zeros it will counting and it will uh, we have to apply the condition in while loop where the value of n should be always greater than power of 5 that means value of n is always greater than 5 where it will um, fail this condition or violate this condition the probability the control will return to the out of the loop and it will return the count variable okay so in while loop we will use the count suppose the count is 0 and where suppose i have passed the value of 5 is 10 so 5 floor division by power of 5 value is 5 5 divided by 5 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 so initially the 1 is assigned to count variable and power and the power of 5 will become 25 so that means we know the uh, factorial of 5 will trailing by 1 0 that is count suppose we want to calculate the factorial of 10 so whatever it may be calculate 3 6 8 2 0 0 so let's see how it will go so uh, value of n is 10 here so 10 is greater than 5 yeah so first time counter variable zeros 10 divided by 5 2 it will return 2 0 plus 2 count 2 2 is assigned to count variable and the power of 5 is updated by the multiple of 5 so power of 5 is initially 5 so 5 into 5 25 so so power of 5 value is 25 and the count will uh, return the zero, uh, 2 value that means the factorial of 10 will return oh, sorry factorial of 10 will trailing by 2 zeros ok so let's see here example we have that factorial of 10 is 3 6 2 double 8 0 0 so at the end of the factorial of the 10 we, we will see there are the two zero which were trailing so basic motto in this problem statement we have to find out the how many zeros are trailing any factorial of number okay so we had done this if you have any query regarding this problem statement or regarding this code so please to do comment us and share this problem statement to your friends so basically it will benefit for you during the interview session okay so if you have any problem regarding this please do comment us this is of today Thank you. Sign off.